Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the secrets of using the Alt key in the Develop module in Lightroom. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can use the Alt key in Windows or the Option key on your Mac to access things in Lightroom that are not apparent that they're even there in the first place. So we're going to look at the Alt or Option key in the Develop module. And the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the Basic panel because this is where you're going to make your initial adjustments. If I drag the Exposure slider, you can see that we can lighten and darken the image. But if I do that holding the Alt or Option key, you'll see that the image goes to black. And as I get it more highly exposed and some of the whites are starting or the lightest areas of the image are starting to blow out, then we're going to see those areas really clearly in the image. I'm going to let go of the Alt key and you can see that these areas have now been blown out. Now that obviously is way too high an exposure for the image, but let's leave it at that for now because let's see what happens when we use the Alt or Option key on the whites and the highlights. Well, typically if we just bring the whites down, we don't know when we're bringing the whites back into range. But if we do that holding the Alt or Option key, we can see where the whites are blown out. And then we can see where we've recovered the detail in the whites so that now we have whites in the image, not blown out areas. Now our exposure is still way too high, so I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Now let's go and see what happens when I adjust the blacks. Now if I just regularly drag on the blacks, we're not seeing where certain areas of the image are going to black. But if I do that holding the Alt or Option key, things are very, very different. You see the image goes to white and only when we get some pure black pixels are we going to see those areas in the image where we're starting to get pure blacks. So if we get too much of this, we're actually plugging the blacks. We're losing detail in these black areas of the image. But the Alt or Option key allows us to see where those points are. So we can bring in some blacks if we want to, but stop well short of oversaturating the black areas of the image to the extent where we're losing detail. So holding the Alt or Option key as you adjust either the exposure, highlights, shadows, whites or black slider is telling you a lot of information about the image, useful information that's going to help you adjust the image in a better way. Now the Alt or Option key is also useful when you're sharpening an image. So let's go down to the detail here. And for a start, when I hold the Alt or Option key as I drag on the amount, you'll see that the image goes to black and white. Now this is useful because in Lightroom, sharpening is only applied to the luminosity in the image, not to the color. So we're going to see the effect that the sharpening is having on the image, just looking at the image luminosity and not being confused by the color. Now I've adjusted the amount all the way up. Let's go and see what happens when we hold the Alt or Option key as we drag on the radius. Well, something similar happens. The image goes to sort of grayscale and we're going to see the halos in the image. So dragging to the far right is showing us really, really strong halos and to the left is practically no haloing at all. So we're going to pick the optimal level of haloing by just dragging on this slider holding Alt or Option so that we can see clearly exactly where the halos are going. If we didn't do that, we'd just be trying to see things looking at the full color image. With detail, again, holding the Alt or Option key allows us to then determine how much detail we're going to have in the image, how much we're going to remove of these halos or how much we're going to keep. And for this image, I'm going to need to wind it up quite a bit. Masking is another one of those sliders that is also affected by the Alt or Option key. Holding the Alt or Option key shows me very clearly where my masking is being applied. So the areas that are white are the areas that are going to be sharpened. The areas that are black are the areas that are not going to be sharpened. And again, we just simply couldn't see this clearly if we were working without the Alt or Option key. Because if we were doing that, we're just looking at the full color image. And it's very difficult to see the effect that this is having. Now I'm going to go back to my 
sharpening the amount and just wind back the amount to a reasonable level. Now I'm having a look in here when I'm holding the Alt or Option key down and you can see that there's actually quite a lot of noise in the image. Well noise is another one of those settings that also is affected by the Alt or Option key. If I go to the Luminance channel here to remove luminance noise and hold the Alt or Option key as I drag, I'm going to see the effect on the image because the noise that is being removed is just luminance noise, it's not colour noise. Now I'm just going to back off there and just get really close into the image here so that we can see the noise a little bit more clearly. Again, Alt or Option key allows me to see the noise being removed and I can work out exactly how much noise reduction I want to get in my image. And because the colour is being removed, because it's not being affected by this adjustment, we're able to see more clearly the actual effect that the noise reduction is going to have on the image. Now we're going to see a similar effect on the image when we drag the detail and contrast sliders holding the Alt or Option key as we do. We're going to see the effect of adjusting the detail again with the colour removed from the image so it's just not getting in the way of us making our decisions. And ditto with the contrast slider here. Now let's move away from this particular image to see some other ways that the Alt or Option key can be used when adjusting an image in Lightroom. One of the other tools in Lightroom that responds to the Alt or Option key is the tool for removing chromatic aberration. I'm going to the Lens Correction tool here and I'm going into the colour area because this image has some chromatic aberration. I'm just going to click in here to enlarge it and you can see here that there's a very greeny blue line across the image here. That's chromatic aberration. There's also some purplish fringing around other areas of the image. You can see it here in the windows. And again that's chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration tends to be green or purple and in some instances you'll find both colours in the image. We've got both showing here. So I'm going to click on the Fringe Colour Selector tool here and I'm going to click on the colours that I want to remove from the image. So I'm going to click firstly on the green and then on the purple. And what that does is it adjusts these two sliders here. But when I drag on the Amount slider and if I hold the Alt or Option key down, you'll see that we're seeing just where the chromatic aberration is being removed in the image so we can see what effect we're having. I'm going to do the same here with the green amount slider. You can see that the areas showing here are very different. That's because these are the areas that were affected by a greeny blue tinge. When I drag on the purple slider, we're seeing the areas that are affected by this sort of purple tinge. And if we still see areas that are not quite covered, then we can either increase the amount to try and get to those, or we could increase the area that is covered by that selector. But these two adjustments, the amount adjustment for the purple and the amount adjustment for the green, are two sliders that respond to the Alt or Option key. But so too do these hue sliders. If I hold the Alt or Option key as I drag on this slider here, you can see the areas that we're adding to the purple hue area. So these are areas that are showing in black. They're the areas in which that colour is being removed from the image by increasing what is designated to be purple. And down here, if I do that with the green hue, you can see that we can increase the area that is being perceived as having this green hue affecting it. So all the sliders in this defringe area in Lightroom are affected by the Alt or Option key. It gives you feedback on the adjustments that are being made to the image. If we go back into this area, you'll see that the adjustment that we made has now removed the colouring from that area of the image that was affected by the blue-green colour earlier on. 
Now another adjustment where the Alt or Option key can really help is in split toning in Lightroom. So I'm just going to get an image that we're going to split tone. So I'm just going to get this black and white image here and let's go into the split toning panel now when we go to split tone an image you can see that dragging on the hue slider here is having absolutely no effect on the image. We're picking a hue but we have absolutely no idea what hue it is. Well if I hold down the Alt or Option key then we can see clearly on the image what hue it is that we're selecting. So I'm going to select a sort of yellowy colour and this is going into the highlights in the image. So when I let go the hue slider we've actually selected that yellow colour. Now let's go and select a hue for the shadows and again just dragging on the hue slider is selecting a colour but we have no idea what we're selecting. But add the Alt or Option key and now it's very clear what colour it is that we're selecting to put in the shadows in the image. So again I'm just going to let go of my mouse and let go of my Alt key and now I can go up and increase the saturation for these two colours for the highlights and for the shadows and then adjust the balance. And again the balance slider too will behave differently if you have the Alt or Option key held. We're saying here that blue is the predominant colour, it's being applied across the image and as we drag on this slide you can see that yellow is now being applied into the highlight areas of the image and if I take it all the way to plus 100 basically a sort of yellow green is being applied to the image. So I'm just going to bring it back to the middle, let go the Alt or Option key and then just tweak it from here. Probably for the balance slider I'm going to get better feedback just leaving the Alt or Option key untouched but certainly when you're selecting highlights or shadows and choosing the colour that you want to use adding the Alt or Option key gives you that feedback as to what colour it is that you're selecting. So next time you're in the develop module in Lightroom be aware of the Alt or Option key and how it can give you feedback when you're using the controls in Lightroom. I'm Helen Bradley, thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.